Hello YouTube, this is my second video of the night. Um, this is a video response, or sort of response, to a YouTube user called Universe Freedom, um, who in her latest video, Two Apologists of Islam, Second Round, response to I, Monica, um, in the comments section of that, she and I have had something of a discussion about her pride in her ignorance of, of certain topics. Um, the one in question in this particular point being British politics. Um, so really in order to, to prove a point um, that ignorance is never a good thing and never something to be proud of, um, and when one discovers one's own ignorance, one should not gleefully proclaim that one doesn't care that one is ignorant. One should do one's best to redress that balance. This is unfortunately going to be a rather tedious video in which I say everything I've managed to find out about Swiss politics and the Swiss political system. So apologies for that, for the fact that this is tremendously boring to all of you. Um, but this is something I felt I wanted to do just to basically say knowledge is worth it, no matter what the knowledge is. Ignorance is never a quality to be proud of. So, Switzerland. Switzerland is a multi-party federal parliamentary democratic republic. Um, its head of government is the Federal Council of Switzerland, which operates both as its cabinet and its collective presidency. Its executive power is exercised by the government and the federal administration is not concentrated in any one person. Um, it's um, in order to make any change in the um, constitution of Switzerland, a referendum is mandatory. Um, and for any change in the law, a referendum can be requested. Uh, through these referenda, citizens may challenge any law voted by a federal parliament, and through initiatives, which are petitions, they can introduce amendments to the federal constitution. And it's this system that makes Switzerland arguably the closest state in the world to a direct democracy. Um, referenda have been used in Switzerland since the 1848 constitution um, and uh, this constitution can be um, amended um, by um, a vote which requires a double majority of both the public and the 26 cantons which are the federal states of Switzerland. Um, this is also the case for um, issues that, that affect the political system of the nation such as joining international organisations. Um, positions to oppose a law can be started by any citizen um, and they require 50,000 signatures over the course of 100 days. Um, and this then sparks off a referendum uh, which is decided on a simple majority and then the law is either kept or abandoned. Um, for amendments to the constitution, uh, petitions have uh, 18 months to collect 100,000 signatures and must be of the precise legal wording to be incorporated into the legislation, as once the petition is written, it cannot be changed by the government. Um, again, if this, um, if the petition is successful in gaining these signatures, uh, it then goes to another, it goes to a vote um, with the the double majority required, as described. Um, and anyone can start. These, these petitions, any citizen of Switzerland. Um, yeah, um, any Swiss citizen eligible to be a member of the National Council can be elected to the Federal Council. Um, the Federal Council is elected by the Federal Assembly for a four-year term and its present members are Doris Leotard, Oily Moira, uh, Micheline Calmire, Evelyn Widmer Schlumpf, Hans Rudolf Merz, Moritz Leuenberger and, and uh, Didier Burkhalter. Apologies to any Swiss people watching um, if I have mispronounced any of those names. Um, the office of the President of um, the Confederation and the Vice President of the Federal Council are elected by the Federal Assemb Assembly from the members of the Federal Council. They run for one year terms concurrently, um, but they are largely ceremonial roles. The current president is Doris Leotard, and the current vice president is Moritz Leuenberger. So that's a little bit on the 
Swiss political system. So the Swiss political parties. The largest party in Switzerland is the Swiss People's Party, which is also known as the Democratic Union of the Centre, and it is a right-leaning populist national conservative political party with emphasis on the free markets and European identity. It is led by Tony Brunner, um, and it's split from the BDP in 2007 after election failures. It holds 28.9% of the vote. Um, the next party is the Swiss Democratic Party of Switzerland, and it's the most left party that has representatives in the Swiss Federal Council. Uh, it is the most pro-European party in Switzerland and supports an immediate entry into the European Union. It is led by Christ Christian Leverat and it holds a 19.5% of the vote. Um, the next party is uh, FDP.The Liberals. It's a classical liberal party um, formed in February 2009 after the two parties, the Free Democratic Party and the Liberal Party, united. It promotes the freedom of citizens and individual responsibility, and it is led by Fulvio Pelli. Then we have the Christian Democratic People's Party of Switzerland, which is a centrist and Christian democratic political party. It promotes social market economy, family values and social security, led by Christophe Darbele, and it holds 14.5% of the vote. Then we have the Green Party of Switzerland, which emphasises environmentalism and pacifism. Um, in terms of economic policy, they're centre-left, and the majority of Greens support um, Swiss entry into the EU. It is led by Eulie Leuenberger, and it holds 9.6% of the vote. We then have the Green Liberal Party of Switzerland, which is a party of the um, political centre, uh, combining liberalism on civil liberties and moderate economic liberalism uh, with environmental sustainability. It's led by Martin Boimler and it holds 1.4% of the vote. Then we have the Evangelical People's Party of Switzerland, which is in on the centre-left, except when religion is involved, when it is naturally conservative by its evangelical nature. It is led by Roydi Eschbecker um, and it holds 2.4% of the vote. We then have the Federal Democratic Union of Switzerland, which is socially conservative and sceptical towards the EU. It is essentially a, a, right, a far-right party um, opposing equal rights for homosexual couples and abortion and euthanasia and liberal drug policies. It is led by Hans Moser and holds 1.3% of the vote. Um, there are a selection of, of other smaller parties um, in Switzerland. Um, these being uh, the Party of Labour, the Ticino League, the Christian Social Party, the Swiss Democrats, Solidarity, and Alternative List. Um, but each of these parties gained less than 1% of the vote in the 2007 elections. Um, yes, so I think that's probably enough to prove my point. Um, Whenever you find that, that there is a topic you don't know enough or anything about, I think it is a far, far better response to, to go and try and find out about it, or even just to say it's not necessarily my top priority at the moment, but at some point maybe I will find out about it. Um, to gloriously proclaim your ignorance as if it were a virtue, I think... Um, gets people nowhere. Um, yeah. So, if you watch that, I really have no idea why, um, but I guess maybe you learnt from it, as I learnt something from researching it, and as I'm trying to put across, no knowledge is, is useless, um, and and anything that we can discover about the world around us I think makes us more well-rounded, wiser people. Um, so, yes. Good night, YouTube.